What's your favorite condiment? I gotta go with dill, cause and that I think is a very Swedish thing that we put dill on everywhere where we eat, shouldn't even put it. You have a boiled egg and some Swedish Kallis caviar, which is a kind of caviar that's not fancy at all. That's it's salty paste of some kind, and then you have fresh dill and you cut it up, and the smell of it, and you put it on the egg, and it's a feast. It's something fantastic. And then we have the big dill that we use for the crayfish. Like krumdil, which is krumdil. krumdil, which grows out in big flowers. That's not like the fresh little dill that you cut up and you stick it in the crayfish. When I grew up, with every meal you had potatoes. So instead of saying I'm going to start dinner, you said I'll start the potato. Because potato came with every, no matter what you ate. You always had potato. <laughs> I'll have to start. You start, you always boiled potato. And I hate boiled potatoes. I think it's very boring. But then there's the fish and the seafood, which is incredible because we have the fresh seafood and the little shrimp and the, the salmon, which is actually often Norwegian, but still. I have to say, Sweden has become so much cooler yeah. within the last 10 years. Uh, it's really changing into something in incredibly beautiful. I'm, I'm very proud to be, to be a Swede and I'm very proud of that country every time I go back. And I think through the immigration, there has been something that's more liberal in Sweden now. It's still a very fair and decent country. It's not a country where a few have everything and the rest has nothing. But there's a freedom and people are allowed to be proud of who they are and, and all of those things. That was not the case when I grew up at all. It was very sort of like, who does she think she is? Keep your face to the ground and very sort of which is not a bad way of growing up either, I have to say. It doesn't promote snootiness, because that would be like right away. It's changing into something where people are more themselves and proud of it, I have to say, and, and, and edgier and, and not like you have to be like everyone else. And if they don't do it, I can do it. And, you know, checking out how everyone else is doing and then just shh, keep moving forward. It's not that way anymore. It's very... And you see cocky people and strange people, and it's, it's great. I like it. Yeah. What do you think you've eaten more of than anything else? Kräftor, kräftskiva. When Swedes get together in August and they have the, this crayfish, and they drink schnapps, and they have hats, and they sing. We do that. We do that for real. It's not just like mm, only in movies. We really do that. And I happen to love kräftor, crayfish, the way it's cooked. You're supposed to peel them, obviously. But if you get impatient, you start <laughs> and, and that sound is around the table, like oh. people trying to <laughs> to get to that sweet, incredible greenish and the and then the red and then the it is delicious. It's really good. I think that's what I've had more than anything. What's your least favorite condiment? That's an interesting question. What do people well, that has to be the, the cream sauce of everything, you know, that, and that's also very Swedish, actually. So I think I've grown out of it, that we, we cream, you know, any, any type of fish, which is so delicious if you grill it or you put, you know, herbs or oil and you stick it in the oven. It's fantastic, like the Italian way of making fish. In Sweden, we do a lot of cream like cream fish and it was actually our daughter who was like do we have to have everything so darn creamy like i can't see or sense the fish because it's always in like a mushroom cream sauce or a lemon cream sauce or and and um, i've stopped doing that and i've started to resent that so now when i go to sweden i'm like you can don't do the cream and maybe i'm in sweden for four four to five weeks every year no 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 no, no. this is where i i live this is where i have my life. I really love New York and the fact that New York is very embracing because I don't think there are many cities where you, that you could move to and I'm not even in Manhattan I live up in the country and still I feel that I've become a New Yorker in a way which I think is kind of I think if you move to Paris or Stockholm you could live there for two lifetimes and still feel like you don't belong but in New York I think uh, New York is very embracing as a, as a city other than the lox, do you have like one dish that you make your way that's uh, inspired by Sweden? Yeah, and it sort of contradicts everything I said. <laughs> but I think 
It's a potato dish, and it's creamed potato with dill that I make very good. What's like the worst thing you've ever had on set in your trailer or something like that, food-wise? That has to be, actually, which, is, which sounds weird, but when we filmed Chocolat, uh, Judy Dench's character was supposed to make hot chocolate for me and Juliette Binoche's character. And it was teeny little cups. And this darn chocolate was not like drinkable almost because they wanted it to be real and they had real chocolate. And, and chocolate is something pleasant, but when you every morning at five o'clock walked into this intense chocolatey in a studio that has, was too hot and the chocolate got a little bit old after, you know, it was excruciating. On like the 12th take, I was like, I'm gonna throw up. It, it's, it's horrible. And we were supposed to love, love this thick, that that was the worst food. It's acting and it's <laughs> yeah. it looked good on camera. Yeah, it did. It, it looked fantastic.